Hey there, this is Mahmoud Hassan and welcome to another Flutter tutorial. Today we will learn navigation. How to navigate from one skin to other skin, how to come back to previous skin. Navigation is very important for any kind of mobile application. So let's start some coding. I have created a navigation flutter project in my desktop demo directory and currently you are seeing that there is a blank code like a my app class defined that is a stateless widget and it's the uh, run it's using in the run app method so this is the main app so let's write some code so here instead of this container let's create a material app widget and for the screen i will type home screen and now let's define this home screen below of this class so i will type a stateless widget and here in the container i will return a scaffold and for the home screen i will give a title for the app So the title will be navigation app and I will uh, define the body and for the body I will use a center widget and for the center I want to use a raised button and the title will be go to screen one. So when I save this, you will see that in the screen, uh, there is a scaffold widget created and with a button go to screen one and nothing will happen because I yet not define the functionality for go to screen one. So now let's copy this home screen code and in the lib section, lib directory, create another file screen one. And here let's import the flutter material library and paste this code and instead of home screen i will rename this to screen one and here in the title i also want screen one and in the center i want to create a, a, a container and i want to give the color of the container to color suppose green and here in the raise button i will use the title go back just go back let's save this thing and now come to the main.dart file and import the second file so import package our project name navigation and import this screen one.dart file here and here in the on press section for the go to screen button let's define the functionality so what i will uh, use i will use a navigator a built-in class that has a push method where you have to pass pass the current context and then in the route section i will use a material page route this widget and here there is a builder so in the builder i have to define a an another an anonymous function which will take the context as a parameter so i will pass this context from here and let's define this anonymous function so in this function i will just return screen one so after i save if i click this go to screen one you see i come to the screen one page so that is this screen one page now if i click go back nothing will happen so what I want to do, I just in the body of this on press method, I will type navigator dot pop and pass the context. After I save this thing, if I click go back, it comes to the first screen. Again, I click go to screen one. It comes to the second screen. And if I click go back, it comes to the first screen. So this is one of the easiest way to create navigation sometimes for a button or for some small application you can use this way to navigate from one screen to another so now i will show you another way to create navigation so at this time we will use another screen so i will just duplicate i want to duplicate this screen one code and create another dart file 
and I will give the name screen2 and I will paste this code and remove this screen1 to screen uh, rename to screen2 and here screen2 and for the color of the background I want to use a blue accent so now come to the main dot dart file so here you see in the material app we can uh, initiate routing so for example when we use any web framework like Django and some other web framework you can create some routing and based on those routing the thing will happen automatically so that kind of thing we can uh, define in here so here we will define there is a parameter routes where we can use a map to define the routing so here at first we have to define a map so i am giving a curly braces to define a map so for the home screen i can type this forward slash then colon and the for the home screen it will return the screen uh, this this object okay so here i will take the parameter context and i will use a fat arrow or arrow function and i will type home screen the uh, home screen this uh, widget initiative will be here and then I want to define a uh, first screen or screen one suppose I will type screen one and here I will again use a context as a parameter for this function anonymous function and I will uh, return screen one for this case if i pass any route as screen one it will return screen one so let's import the screen two thing package navigation screen one instead of screen one we will import screen two so now i will define another screen so for example in this case i want to use a different name so i will type final for the third screen, uh, second screen screen two and here in the context i will uh, return screen two so here in this case we define three screen so if i save this thing you will see there will be an error comes so it is expected because when you are going to use this routes this thing you have to pass another parameter that is initial route and for the initial route you can just use this uh, forward slash still you are seeing this error because i did a mistake when you give a route an initial route you cannot use this home parameter anymore so just remove this thing and save and now you see this is working so in this case we are creating an initial route that is forward slash and the for forward slash we are uh, initiating this home screen widget that is we define in this route section so here uh, uh, on press when we will click on press we will using this return screen one right it it should still work but instead of this let's define different code so in this case we will use same navigator this class and we will use dot push and before we were using just push, but in this case we are going to use the push name method and here you have to pass the current context and then the route name so for the route name we want to pass uh, screen one so just type screen one so if i save this thing and if i click this go to screen one it still works so before we used the push method and now we are using the push named method and when you are going to use the push named met method you have to use uh, define a routes and initial route in the material app so this is the thing and now let's from the screen one we will add two more buttons so here uh, in the child section in the raise button for the screen one i will type uh, a new widget or a column so in the column first is raise button so i will copy this raise button again and i will paste here and here i will type screen 2 and from here navigator dot push name name i will use the current context and the route name is final let's save this thing so now let's come here and i will click go to screen one so it comes to screen one screen one page and from screen one page i will 
click screen 2 and you, you will see that we come to the screen 2 page and if I uh, click go back in the screen 2 here so it comes to the first screen screen 1 and if I click go back it comes to the our root screen or main screen so this is how we can create navigation in flutter so you just have to remember that if you are you have many pages then it's better to create initial route and routes in your material app and every time you just use the push name method beside this push name of navigator uh, functionality you can also use the navigator.push if you want if there are two or three skin maybe this navigator.push is sufficient for your purpose and another thing is that whatever you use navigator.push or navigator.push name the pop thing will work as it is so just you have to come navigator.pop and it will come to the previous skin so there is no more problem so i hope it will help you to understand how this navigation thing work there are other customization you can do like uh, the transition animation if you check the flutter documentation you will see you can do many customization for the navigation thing so thank you for watching and have a nice day